Why don't you go ahead and just tell us about your character, who you play, what she, who she is? Sure, sure. So I play a character called Beretta Jones. Um, she is religious and and one of the kind of last faithful people left on Earth at the arrival uh, of, of these crazy overlords and instinctively Peretta is dead set against them um, and that kind of is informed by her faith but also by her personal experience. Um, I feel like a lot of her journey is motivated by her relationship with her mother. Her mother uh, kind of loses faith and that has drastic con consequences for Peretta in her young life. So for me that was a really great way to ground her journey um, and her very strong distrust for these benevolent overlords. Mm. Um, we've heard that your character is sort of kind of new, mm -hmm. um, and at the, if there's another episode that's sort of um, drawn from the book, but it kind of expands more into something that wasn't written. So, yeah. was that a, um, a challenge for you, or did you find it beneficial that you kind of had this fresh plate? To I guess it is liberating, uh, isn't it? Because no one can compare me to the <laughs> <Yeah>. book. <laughs> like, you did that wrong. <laughs> so, phew. Um, <laughs> Yeah, look, I think it was really important that, that she exists. When you read the novel, I mean, it feel, it, in its original form, it, it feels... How do I put this? It feels a little old-fashioned in terms of the fact that there are no female characters, really. They sort of feel like placeholders in the novel, whereas I think it, in, in our reworking of the story, the female characters have a place, they have depth, they have clear motivations um, and they have wants and needs, you know, as we do. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really important, I think, to, to ignore the fact that, you know, we're making this in 2015 rather than 1950. It's, it, it's an important thing and obviously the industry is changing and more women appearing both in front of the camera and behind the camera and, you know, I, I think that it was a very wise move on Matthew's part to include this character and it's not like she springs from nowhere. Um, there are there are questions of faith that come up in the, the, the sort of centre area of the book, which is this very beautiful, very esoteric section of the novel when the large questions are asked about faith and about consequence. And I think, you know, I feel that Peretta is the kind of sober embodiment of, of those questions. It sounds like she's going to be the one who is going to have a big part to play in that center piece, mm -hmm. which is mostly about religion. Is that where we yeah. going to see a lot? From yeah, that's that? where I kind of did most of my of my work. Um, it sounds funny to call it work because it's so fun, um, <laughs> but. Uh, she does appear in the in the first episode and she's played by a younger me which is really lovely oh. to meet your younger self mm -hmm. and she was very sweet and i thought i was like oh well that reflects very well on me <laughs> um and and she was wonderful so you get to see that journey grow um but yes certainly that center part of the story you know the juiciest part <laughs> fantastic have there been any particular challenges of taking on this role yeah, actually, unseen challenges that I should have seen. Things like dealing with imaginary forces. You know, um, as an actor, I've you know I've been working in, in this one show for, for you know a number of years now, and I felt very comfortable on that set. And then suddenly, I found myself on this brand new set um, with brand new requirements, dealing with larger than life ideas, um, alien overlords, and really trying to ground that in truth um, that's a that's a big ask and I have a renewed respect for, for people who work um, with, with imaginary forces people who work with green screen uh, I, I just now even more so think that that's just such an incredible incredible thing and you know we didn't in a lot of ways we had we, we got we got off easy you know a lot of they did work really hard to give us things to work from but for me um, you know I, I've been working in a very real kind of uh, on the ground story world that's very much grounded in social reality and then to step out 
and expand those ideas to, to, to things unseen, to forces unseen, it, is, it requires a good deal of imaginative gymnastics and I, do, I really do have renewed respect for, for people who work so beautifully in, in, in such a committed way to, to big sci-fi tales of adventure. Yeah. What's your personal history with sci-fi? Is it a genre that you're normally interested in? I, I wasn't as a child. I think I kind of resisted um, because my, my brother was sort of into it and so I kind of was like, finding a different path and then over the last few years I, um, I've, I've sort of been more and more drawn to it because I think it allows for greater questions. I started reading Asimov and that was really, I, I understood a little more and I'm sure I only understand a fraction of the possibility that that, that scope allows for, that sci-fi can ask bigger questions of us because there, there aren't things like reality tying you down. Um, but I think I think the joy with with this show is that Nick and Matthew, the writer and director, uh, were very committed from the beginning. And when we first spoke about the role, they they talked about the fact they really wanted to have an emotional authenticity. So while we have these huge ideas, they wanted to ground everything in a good deal of truth. And and even in the way they shot this series. They were very committed to, if we can do it in real time, in front of a camera, we're going to do it. So there's some incredible stunts that were performed, you know, real time. Um, so, I, and I thought that was really interesting, kind of reflected this, this commitment to, to authenticity and to, to truth. Did you decide to read the books and, and if you, whether you did or you didn't, what was part of your decision to do that? What made you decide whether you were going to or not? I read the books, certainly the book. Uh, I read the book, <laughs> and I I always like to read whatever's available to me, whatever source material it is, knowing that I don't have to be married to it. That um, you know that there there is a kind of elastic relationship that we have to honor where we're coming from, most certainly, um, and you have to have that so that then you can you can find flexibility with that. So yeah, I always like as much as much as there is available. I like to read it.